Okay, hello, welcome back. This is a uh, another Sunday school lesson. Um, and Evie is in green because I'm doing this the day before St. Patrick's Day. If you get this after St. Patrick's Day, happy late St. Patrick's Day. Um, just uh, a quick note, I've had actually a lot of blessings this past week. My grandfather was in town to visit, which is always great. We had a St. Patrick's Day meal, uh, corned beef and cabbage, early. That was good. And then the other night at work, uh, some people were having a meeting and they had food there. And uh, one of the people leaving was nice enough to just uh, give me a big thing of lasagna, which has been my favorite food since I, w since, well, since I got into Garfield at a young age. So lot, lots of blessings, many of them involving food this past week. So always good. So anyway, we are uh, going to take a walk around here. And uh, we're looking at Matthew 10 through 12, uh, Mark 2, and Luke 7 through 11. And this is dealing with um, Christ sending his apostles out into the world. Um, so basically, the Lord uh, gave his servants assignments and things to do. And um, in, in my church, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, we, we believe in the same organization that Christ established is the one that we should have. So we have the same organizations of apostles, of uh, priests, etc. Um, that's only really a side note at this point. But yes, they were given these assignments. They were sent out into the world to preach, to talk to the people. And, you know, that just made me wonder, you know, what, what are we supposed to do? just as people, as members of the church, what's our responsibility? Are we being sent out into the world how, and how should we react? Um, a lot of people really don't like the um, to be preached to. Preach is actually considered to be a bad word nowadays, a neg has, to have negative con connotations, I should say. So being preached at and preached to is considered to be bad nowadays. So how do we express ourselves without offending people or getting people mad? And, you know, came up with a, a few ideas, uh, one of uh, which would be just live the gospel, live the best way we know how. And in that way, we set the example. Um, there's a really bad child-rearing technique called do as I say, not as I do. And it, what makes it so bad is that children will, you know, hear you say, don't do this, but then... But then they will do exactly what you do, not what you say you should do. So that's what makes it so bad. This is the opposite. You set a good good example. Do live the gospel, do the right thing, and people will observe it and will learn from it. it it's a good way to teach and show people. In other ways, just be open and friendly to all people and do what you can to help when you can't. When you can, go out and help. Ah. We have a lovely concert going on here. Just, yeah, live the gospel and be a good example. And if people have questions or want to ask about it, or if you want to present your gospel, or if you want to present the gospel, if you want to present aspects about it, you, you can do it. But always be respectful of other people and always, um, yeah, just be friendly and open. You know, let people, give people what they need, not what they want. And I think that's kind of the best way to proselytize. Be a good example and yeah, just be completely nice and friendly to people who may not believe what you believe. So there's that there. And you know, that's the thing. When you're in the Lord's service, he does. He inspires you. He helps you know what to say and how to say it. Um, just trust in him, trust in the Lord, and it will all go well for you. So, let's go ahead and move on. Now, one of the things that was said, this is uh, in uh, Matthew 10. The Lord said, um, let me quote this, I came not to send peace, uh, but a sword. And a lot of people, have, you know, this is, seems like an odd statement for the Lord to have made. And what he's talking about, what he means by this, is that the gospel will cause contention. And, you know, there are many cases of, you know, your siblings not getting along, parents not getting along with children uh, because of their beliefs, of their religious beliefs. 
And it's, it can be difficult. If you, say, become converted to the Lord, or you become converted to a church and the rest of your family doesn't agree with that church, there's going to be contention. That's how it goes. That's, it, it's, it's always sad. It's never easy. But it is ultimately uh, worth it. And so, yes, there, you need to be aware. There will be contentions in your life. People won't agree with what you agree with. But, you know, if they love you and they respect you, they will respect your choices and, and your decisions. And that's, yeah, just keep, keep going in that way. <laughs> and things will work out. Just have faith in the Lord. And, you know, that's another thing that's taught in this lesson is that when, if we rely on the Lord, he will give us um, the strength we need. He will give us rest. He will give us salvation. And it will be all, all to our benefit, all to the good. Wow, that, that is very precariously perched. <laughs> I don't think I've quite seen that particular um, glitch in this game. That Wow, how, how is that kid sitting there? That's amazing. Okay, <clears throat> regardless. But yes, uh, the Lord will give us rest when we embrace him. And it may be difficult at times, but it will be ultimately to our benefit, and he will give us rest when we need rest. So I'll take it. So um, I, I've been talking basically the gospel. I haven't talked any specific events thus far, but there was one I wanted to talk to when he went to see a man called Simon, who was a Pharisee. And while he's at his house, a woman who had... Um, done some bad things. I want to say uh, sexual sins. I, I don't recall offhand. I'd have to reread re it. I don't think it's ultimately that important to this story. But a woman who had sinned, that's the important bit, came in and with her tears washed the Lord's feet and dried it with her uh, hair. Which is really in impressive. I mean, it's, you know, just to do that and, and to say that and... You know, that's, you know, shows commitment to, you know, cleaning, cleaning the Lord's feet. And a lot of people were kind of whispering, it's like, oh, if, if he was really the Christ, he'd know what sort of woman this was, and he would not let her even near him, much less um, have her dry his, have, have her wash his feet. And the Lord uh, gave a response just uh, who who needs help? Who needs medical help? The uh, sick or the uh, or the healthy? And the answer was, well, of course, the sick. They're the ones who need help. And Christ's response is, I came into this world not to call sinners unto repentance, not uh, those who are perfect. And, you know, since I can't, you have offered me no refreshments, nothing since I came in this house, but this woman has not stopped, you know, cleaning my feet, showing me this respect for it. And he forgave this woman her sins. Now, you know, I, I think I've talked about kind of the repentance and stuff like that, it being a process. And this woman had, had obviously gone through the process, had, was worthy of repentance. So that's an important part, but it's also... Another one, you know, we don't go to church because we know everything. We don't go to church because, you know, we are per already perfect. It's we are in the process of making perfect. And no matter how perfect we currently are, we can still be more perfect. And we should continue going to church and doing that because, yeah, we are the sick. We, we need help. We could always use more help. And that's why we go to church. That's why we continue playing. We, well, we continue doing the things we need to do in church. Sorry, I saw the kids playing the with the football. Immediately my mind went to football. Uh, regardless. So that that's kind of the lesson. Take Big takeaways are... Uh, let's see. We... Lead by example. We should be good. The Lord will support us. And even even with hard times with our friends, with our family, he, he will support us. And, you know, we should all go to church just because we're sick and that's where we learn. So anyway, uh, like and subscribe if you like this. Uh, let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.